Well, we're just going to go straight into this. So basically, we've got, we've got a number of slides showing what happened when Christian and I went up for the handover of the Rarotonga Mobile Health Clinic. We were both involved with it from the beginning in about two years ago when we were in Rarotonga, and the, when it was just a, an idea. Christine took it forward for about six months as we were as members of the Rarotonga Rotary Club, and then it was carried on after that for the last year. This club was involved in terms of funding. We provided $1,000 for, from as recommended by the International Committee, which I chair, but, and then we, <laughs> but the, the board agreed to it, of course. Um, and uh, but it, so that Christine was involved a lot more back on this end as well. So a group of about 20 odd, and once I odd, 20 individual <laughs> Rotarians <laughs> went up about uh, two weeks ago, we went up to the Cook Islands to for the handover, the formal handover. And <coughs> this is really just to give you an idea of what a project and a good project looks like. And this is, this is really about a celebration of what I think and we all think is a really worthwhile and effective project. So I'll just explain a bit that we, we, we arrived, we had, a, there was a formal welcome on the evening, at the evening we arrived, we all had dinner, and you'll see where the, the dancing happens. We all, um, then the following day was the, or the, or the following Monday was the actual handover of Cook Islands Minister of Health or Acting Minister of Health received the bus on behalf of the Cook Islands government. We all then went around the island. It's not a very big island. For those of you who've been to Rarotong, it's uh, 35 kilometres around. It doesn't take long to get round, and we went round in a bus in support of the bus. So it's another bus. It was a different kind of a bus, and you'll see pictures of us on the bus. Uh, it's, it's called actually called the Rehab Bus. It's a it's a nightclub called Rehab, which is a bit kind of slightly like a bit of a paradox, given that uh, we were actually there for promoting health rather than rehabilitation at a nightclub. So then, so as a result of all of that went around, we then, then we also went to the local Rarotonga club and met up with everyone. So roughly around 20 people went from all over New Zealand to th including the district governor, the, the then district governor from Fiji. So we all had a great time. So I'm now going to give it over to Christine to talk about some of the more details of the project. Your Honour. As you can see, and this is going to loop around again, I think, the interior of the bus gives you a real sense of, of how equipped that, that bus is and how it's set up to be a very hygienic and ideal place to um, bring particularly mothers and children in. That's the core purpose of the bus, was to um, step in instead of some of the smaller clinics scattered not just around the main part of the, the island, but in the, um, in the valleys and further back where they're not particularly accessible, but they're fine in terms of the bus access. So it was to enable the public health nurses to reach mothers and children, check new babies, the usual sort of Plunkett equivalent of weight and measurement, development, and um, give them the vaccinations. What's really interesting in terms of the project that you'll, I hope, mostly be aware of is, that's coming up, and that's the centenary project, where we're looking at more immunisation of children and young women during the, uh, through, through nine different com um, Pacific countries, is that this bus will serve a really relevant purpose in terms of those immunisations as well. So... That will be the core purpose of the bus, to reach the maternal health and um, child health, which, as you'll all know, is one of the big goals for Rotary mm. International. In addition, it will be able to take care of antenatal care for, for pregnant women. It will be able to connect with elderly who are not particularly mobile or people who haven't got transport. So they'll be able to meet up in the smaller clinics that are more like community halls than, than something genuinely like a health clinic, and they'll have this ideal bus situation which is going to be driven by the public health nurses and be able to go around to different points around the island. It'll serve also to go to the schools check school children for things like rheumatic heart disease or possibly eye tests or, um, 
or hearing tests. So it'll go to the schools and meet, meet the, ch the children that way. And it'll be available for special occasions like um, special health promotions or when there's some sort of um, big event where you want to be sure you've got um, health backup in case of emergencies. And talking of emergencies, the bus is amazingly well set up so that it can operate for at least three days on its own from, from the, the power that is provided in it, and it's got Wi-Fi as well, so it's ideal in disaster situations too. So again, thank you to our club for the $1,000. Really well received and well worthwhile. Slightly going over time, but, but it, it, it represents the best of Rotary working because it would involve the, the club in, Rot in Rarotonga. It involved a number of clubs in our district, but also in, in District 9920, because we needed all of that support to get the access to the global grant. And it involved a number of people working, first of all, the donation to, of the bus itself, which was from one of the Rotarians. They had a surgeon who gave all the advice on what was needed, but working with the Ministry of Health in the Cook Islands, working with the uh, all the, ver the district governor and district governors, it was all involved, everyone in a genuine collaboration that was basically focused on the needs of Rarotonga, and that's why it worked. Thank you.